Hey everyone, so in this video, I'll be reviewing the Stream Deck Plus by Elgato from both a personal and designer's perspective. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here we got my personal Stream Deck Plus setup, and I want to show you guys all the cool things I can do with my buttons and my knobs right here. So we've got my play and pause button right here for my Spotify, YouTube videos, super simple. And then we've got our Discord icon right here. Obviously, I can mute and deafen myself. And right here in my screen, it says error right now, but when I join a voice channel, it basically shows uh, the users in the voice channel, and I can basically lower their voices or raise them. Um, if we go back here now, uh, we can go to Spotify, and we can actually see all of my Spotify controls. Playback, open Spotify, copy information, and if we actually go in here, you can actually play all of my playlists right from here. If we go back, we can obviously see right here my game section. We've got all of my favorite games at one place, one click of a button away from launching your favorite game. Let's go back, and here we have our clip button. It basically just records like 15 seconds of the previous gameplay, so in case I do something cool or stupid, it's right there. And then I've got my system sounds right here. It basically shows you all of the applications that's open right now on your computer. You can change the sound volume. It's super easy. And then we've got my speaker and headphone input switch. And I can just click here to change um, my headphones or my speakers. Pretty simple. And then finally, we've got my light switch right here for my LED strip lights. It's super handy as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the knobs. These knobs are just basically for my mostly used applications. And I can just lower their, you know, volumes, system sounds, Discord, and whatnot. So yeah, this is my personal layout as of now. So let's move on to the next part of the video. Alright, so we have After Effects open on our computer right here, and we also have our Stream Deck Plus right here with the AE Pro Toolkit provided by Sideshow Effects. Thank you, Sideshow Effects, by the way. They have kindly sent me over this After Effects Toolkit and a Photoshop Toolkit, so make sure you guys check the link below to get one yourself. But before that, I'm going to show you guys all the cool things you can do with this toolkit. Alright, so let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is since we already have After Effects opened up, why don't we create a new composition, obviously. So let's go to Comp, and let's click New Composition right here, and boom, it pops up uh, the new composition window. I'm just gonna name it Stream Deck Plus, and then let's click OK. Um, the first thing I'm thinking to do is play around with a little bit of a text animation, right? So to create a new text, before we go to the toolbar and click T and then click the composition and type our text, why don't we use our Stream Deck Plus toolkit here and try that out. So I'm going to go to layer and just boom, click create new text and it creates one for me right here. And I'm just going to type uh, aerial effects. Anyways, let's say um, I want to center this text and also scale it up and do all sorts of adjustments to it. Obviously, normally you'd have to do this on your computer screen, but since I have my Stream Deck Plus right here, let's try it out. So the first thing I want to try and do is center this text, right? So you can see here that my text currently, it wasn't in the center before. This anchor point is also not in the center of the text, so it's just everywhere, right? All over the place. So what I do here, I'm just going to swipe a couple screens back until I see this page, and look what we have here transform anchor point and transform center layer what this basically does is uh you know what i'm just gonna show you look at this boom boom right there it basically just centers the anchor point to the text or any layer you have and then it centers the actual layer to the center of the composition it all does that in one two clicks it's super useful i love it so much so why don't we try changing some other things for our text? So I'm going to go back to the main screen. Let's go to the character menu. So in the character menu, we also have a bunch of new things we can, you know, play around with. So obviously you can create your new text layers from here as well. You can select your text tools right here as well. But uh, I'm more interested in some other things. Why don't we swipe a couple screens to the right and see what we have. Okay, so here we have our all caps, small caps, subscript. And then even our alignment tools right here. So let's say I wrote a long sentence, right? 
And you can see here that this sentence is being aligned to the center. But why don't we try moving it to the left? But why don't we try moving it to the left? Boom. So what this happens is it basically creates the text on the left alignment. So if we just create like new lines here, you can see that the, all of these texts are aligned to the left, right? And this is just your usual, you know, alignment stuff. It's super useful. You can do it with a click of a button. And I think it also depends on if you like tangible buttons or not. I really like those, which is why I probably like the Stream Deck Plus. And obviously, you got to understand that it's not just for After Effects. It's for anything, basically. You can control everything within this single device, which makes this so desirable for these content creators and streamers, right? Okay, but enough talk. Let's go ahead and look at other buttons, shall we? So we've got also um, these positioning buttons as well so let's say we actually have multiple objects on our screen all right okay so let's say i have this huge red box right here in our screen and i want to get this text above the box all we got to do is we got to move to the screen that we were just at and then basically we just bring it to forward boom just like that or bring it back again or bring it forward or back you know you can do whatever you want and then why don't we actually try playing with the knobs now all right so we can see here that we can move our time indicator with this little knob look at that wow that is actually really handy as well you can move frame by frame with this single knob this is really awesome if you do some small increment animations and look at this there's also things like font sizes and remember this is just like one screen out of like a hundred different things you can do in this toolkit all right so why don't we try increasing this text and just use this knob look at that wow i i love this so much like i i can't express like how cool this is really and look at this we can you we can even timeline zoom and insertion point what the what is this what the, what the hell is insertion point so insertion point is basically look it's wherever your you know typing cursor places at so you can move literally one letter by letter sorry i'm getting a bit off track here but uh i'm really here to show you how cool this thing is and um and i feel like i'm really not doing justice to the stream deck plus and the ae pro toolkit as well uh why don't we play around with the actual animations now then all right so i went ahead and created a brand new circle on our composition right here let's say i want to animate this little circle right why don't we play around with the animate tab let's go so we have our animation tab right here and we have a lot of pages but the one i'm really most curious about is this expressions tab so right off the bat you can see all these cool gif animations right here with all the different animations you can play around with and i really want to see what these can do why don't we start off by selecting our circle layer right here and just just go for it let's try wiggle wow did you see that that was so quick why don't we look at the animation <laughs> that's actually really impressive look at that it just literally makes the animation for you i thought it was just going to be like a little expression that you actually have to animate yourself but turns out it does everything for you why don't we try some other ones Dude, this is really fun okay we got to try wobble bounce let's try that <laughs> that's actually kind of goofy I, I, I can't even lie that's really goofy but um i feel like you can do really cool things with this I mean, I feel like this whole toolkit, along with the Stream Deck Plus, like, it just saves you so much time to do all sorts of stuff, you know? Like, okay, why don't we try random position? I think this is a more intense version of the wiggle expression, but, uh, wow. And you see the animation isn't even that bad. Like, I thought it would be a really rough animation, but it's well, it's well animated, really. If you're uh, struggling to make these sort of expressions yourself, this is all in one place for you to use, so I think this is really cool. Okay, but anyways, why don't we check out some of the other animations things you can do. So, why don't we try animating this circle layer by ourselves real quick. So, let's do a quick scale up animation, something like this. Now you can see that this animation is quite abrupt, like ends abruptly and starts abruptly, right? Well, this is because, as you may know, we don't have any easing on our keyframes. And normally we'd have to hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease our keyframes, but obviously you can do that within the Stream Deck Plus as well. Click of a button. And then you can just do that much smoother. If it's just that, that'd be kind of boring, right? I can just hit F9 and then call it a day. But the thing with the Stream Deck Plus is that you can you can do all sorts of animations with this. So 
We can move our time indicator, but we can also move to the previous keyframe, previous, next, do all sorts of stuff. And we can shift our keyframe one frame earlier or one frame later. So you can select this keyframe, I believe, and you can click this and look at that. It shifts your keyframe one frame earlier or later. Those little increments, you know, those little things is what makes this thing so useful. Why don't we play around with some of the other tabs as well? So we haven't checked out 3D yet window tools i believe tools is just a list of tools you can select yeah so we have our move tool our you know drag tool our text tool all in one place this is handy as well if you don't know the shortcuts to all of your tools and then we got our window tool i think this is really nice as well because usually you'd have to go up to your window tab right here and you'd you know try and find one right here but uh you can do uh, do all of that from here now and that's pretty handy all right let's go back okay why don't we check out 3d for the last section so we have got tons of things here. I think this is really cool as well because, uh, okay, so let's say I have this circle in my composition, right? I'm going to make this layer a quick little 3D layer by clicking this button on our Stream Deck Plus. And why don't we create a new camera layer, hit that, and then click OK. Y you see how I'm doing everything through this little thing? I just think that's really cool. Anyways, let's say I want to view my 3D composition from a different viewpoint right usually you'd have to click this button and then go to your other viewpoints but uh obviously we can do everything from here now right so uh let's see i want to look at it from uh 3d custom view one boom now you can see your screen from your custom view one view two view three you can even adjust your tools from this like different camera tools different gizmos and then your comp zoom here as well look at that that is awesome. And you can create your new layers right here and a bunch of stuff. But seriously, I didn't do enough justice for both of these creators, Elgato and Sideshow FX for the Stream Deck Plus and the AE Pro Toolkit. So I really, really hope that you guys can check out this product and the toolkit yourself and consider purchasing it yourself as well. But that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did trying out the Stream Deck Plus and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, I like your eyes and your smile while you're doubting me Always on your mind, yeah, she never answers down on me Always checking up and making sure I'm fine Flying through the night, I'm Peter Pan in your eyes And reply with a smirk or a lie, just decide what we're